Hello, my name is Jerry Ruth and I'm a developer at Genway Computer Systems. We at Genway Computer Systems are creating a series of short but powerful videos in Tipco Spotfire version 7.5 to assist you in enhancing your data formatting skills and to ensure you get the most out of Spotfire. In this example, we will look at the collaborations feature. This is a new feature in Spotfire version 7.5 and was designed to enable clients to communicate with one another within the analysis. Unlike annotations or bookmarks, the collaboration feature allows you to reply to someone's comments and to include markings and filterings within your comments. Our data set has been collected from a sales analysis which compares projected sales to actual sales for dairy products by stores across 21 states. When working on a group project, communication through emails can easily get lost or miscommunicated. In previous versions of Spotfire, you were able to communicate through Tibbo, but this had to be configured and members needed access to Tibbo in order to take part of the collaborations. In the new version of Spotfire, you can still communicate through Tibbo, but you can now also communicate directly with one another through collaborations. When we are in our analysis and we have become familiar with our dataset, we can easily start a collaboration for others to view by simply clicking on this icon and this will open the collaboration style box. This box has two options available. You can either create a new conversation or you can view all current conversations within the analysis. When you click here to start a new conversation, a speech bubble appears. The default setting is to start a conversation on the last visualization that has been used or is active. Enter the comment that you would like to leave and when satisfied, click post. When your collaboration or conversation is created, anyone with access to this analysis can view your comment and also reply. If someone does filtering on this visualization and wants to share their findings with you based on your comment, they can reply to your comment and include this in their analysis. So when you access the analysis at a later stage and view the comment back, the visualization will change to the filtering that is associated with this comment. Note though that when we change the axis of a visualization and save it to your comments that the visualization will not revert back to the original settings when clicking on your previous comment. When the chat is minimized, a green chat bubble square is still in the visualization. When we look at the top of the visualization, we can see a chat bubble with the number 1 is next to it. This shows us that there is one collaboration within this visualization. If we click on the bubble, a list of all conversations appear. You can scroll down the list and select which conversation pertains to you or which conversation you would like to become part of. When clicking on a conversation within this list, you will automatically be directed to the page and the conversation selected. You have a few options within the conversation list. You can select which visualization you would like to view. You can search for a specific topic or person. You are also able to copy the conversation as a link or you can delete the conversation. When you close a collaboration or conversation tab, all chat bubbles will be hidden and not reflect in your analysis. Collaborations and conversations are a great way of communicating within an analysis. Unlike annotations that are only one-sided communication, collaborations can have multiple people replying and advising on a certain topic or situation. I hope you have found this demonstration interesting and helpful. Our contact information is on the screen should you wish to reach out to us with any assistance in implementing this technique. Thank you.